I think one of the most strategic things that a student can do when taking a class is try to understand the logic behind the class design. So readings and tests and assignments, all of these become clearer if you understand their context and why the professor put them in at that particular time. Now professors are generally pretty good at providing this context, but you also have to look for it. So what we did is we sat down and we talked with a biology professor about why she builds tests and assignments in the way that she does. Understanding this logic can help you understand faculty expectations. So how does a student do well in your classes? The main thing with doing well in class is keeping up. The material is going to be much more intense and come at you much faster once you're in college. So it's very important that you stay on top of the material. Don't get caught up with studying one class and putting the other one down. Mm -hmm. Stay with all the classes together. Mm -hmm. Another very important thing with staying on top of class is to test your understanding. So it's not just about memorizing and mm -hmm. regurgitating information in college. It's going to be much more about can you use the information. But you must know the information in order to mm -hmm. use it. But you're going to have to take that second step. Use the information, analyze the information, evaluate the information. We're at an institution of higher education and those are the higher types of learning that we're going to be expecting here. How are you designing tests and assignments? So with tests and assignments, the tests, once again, are going to be about application of material. Mm -hmm. You're going to be getting novel problems, problems you have not seen in class. Now, we'll have done things in class that are very similar, but you will have not seen the very same problem. I'm expecting you to put together new information in a new way on this test. Mm -hmm. So it will be testing your, your true, your deep understanding of the mm -hmm. material through here. Now the assignments, I'm going to design all the assignments to give you practice mm -hmm. in being able to do well on the exam. So I think it's very important mm -hmm. that both in class and on your assignments you have practice very similar to what I'll be expecting you to do on the test, which is another thing for you to think about. Mm -hmm. what, what am I asking on mm -hmm. those assignments? Because mm -hmm. that's going to foreshadow what's going to be on the exam. What's the best way to do well on those tests? Okay, so the best way to do well on exams in my classes, in the biology and the science classes, and I would expect in many of the other classes, is study groups. And what's terrific is that this university, you're, the fellow students your class, in your classroom are very smart people. Mm -hmm. They're going to know what's on the, what types of things have been happening in class. They're going to know what sort of things the professor is interested in. And they're going to be the ones who are going to be able to challenge your understanding. It'll be important for you to have been doing some studying by yourself. Mm -hmm. But what's even more important is to have someone challenge your understanding. So that's what study groups are about. Great. You should meet with study groups mm -hmm. at least once a week for about an hour and a half. You want your study groups to be around three or four people. Um, some of the libraries have, mm -hmm. have great study rooms or find a find somewhere on campus where you have a great big whiteboard, mm -hmm. you can write out all your information, and you as a group can look at the information and make sure it's correct. What happens when you don't do well on that first test? Yeah, and that's always going to happen. Um, that, <laughs> yeah, at, at some point, I can remember for me it was OCHEM. It uh -huh. was like I was doing well and then OCHEM came along. It's like, oh my gosh, it just threw me. And it's in interesting, you're going to say, gosh, I'm at this university, I should be doing really well, and now I'm not. Mm -hmm. And you're used to doing well, so mm -hmm. it, it really mm -hmm. throws you. So what you need to do is realize it happens to everybody at some point in time. Great. And then you have to go find your resources. Mm -hmm. You go to your professor, you go to your TAs, you go to tutoring centers, you, you go to your advisors. Mm -hmm. Look around and start asking people, where can I go for help? What's critical is you do that sooner rather than later. Do not put it off. Some, some students will say, oh, I'll just do better on the second exam. You will not. <laughs> Unless you've changed your studying, the same thing is going to happen. So take that first exam, say, OK, this is my stumble, time to pick myself up, get some help, and move forward. Do many students come into your office hours? Not as many as I would like. <laughs> All right. So I, put, I have regular office hours, and I'll sit there and do work and be expecting students and so few come in. I think they're kind of afraid. <laughs> so what I tell them is bring a friend. Mm -hmm. Yes, two of you, one of me, you can feel very <laughs> safe, all right? So we've talked about a lot of very specific techniques for doing well in a particular class. What's sort of a, a general approach for figuring out in different classes and in different disciplines what those professors want? Right, so as a, as a college student, each quarter, each semester, you're going to be taking many different classes, not just one. And in each discipline, there's different ways of thinking. So if you're in my class, I'm a physiologist, I'm teaching a biology class, you have to learn to think like a physiologist. 
but you've never thought like a physiologist. So how does a physiologist think? So you have to watch me mm -hmm. reading the book and talking to your colleagues and saying, when I'm in her class, when I'm taking her exams, I must think like a physiologist, I must give answers like a physiologist mm -hmm. would. Now, when you go to your next class, which could be uh, a social justice class, they think a little bit of a different way. Mm -hmm. You've got to find out what are the keys to their discipline, what sort of answers mm -hmm. do I need to give in that discipline. It will be very different from my answers. The decisions that appear on a syllabus, the readings, the tests, the assignments, these aren't arbitrary. They reflect the pr professor's priorities, how they see that knowledge being learned. So you want to understand that logic. Read the syllabus. Try to understand the construction of the class. If it's not clear, go talk to the professor because I guarantee you they had a reason for why they built the class the way that they did. And understanding it will help you do better.